It is official, official, that uh, Chicago United Center is going to be the location of the debut edition of Collision. There was no announcement of CM Punk on the show tonight, but seems that's pretty much a foregone conclusion since they announced Chicago. What's the latest, mm -hmm. Dave? Well, they, uh, you know, the, they've got a deal, and... Um, He's going to start at Collision, and there were a couple of things done. I mean, there was uh, a uh, um, there was some legal stuff that was taken care of. Um, there were NDAs involved in this, and I think the the key stuff is that uh, AW was protected as far as um, you know him showing up for all the dates and. Uh, the decision is, as far as we know, um, that Ace Steel will be working remotely. He will not be an agent going to the collision shows, which was what the big, you know, thing that happened last Tuesday was. So that was how that was settled. And, uh, you know, so I think that uh, judging from the what I would call uh, lack of excitement when it came to ticket buyers for these collision shows, um, they needed something really big, and Punk is about the biggest thing that they could get right now um, that would be available that, you know, in, in that date, you know, in that, by, by June 17th. So it was, you know, there was a lot of pressure to make the thing work. And, um, you know, they had been, you know, I mean, it was, it, it was a, a done deal with Punk multiple times over the last couple of months. I mean, we talked about it a long time ago. There were some things that had happened. There was one, more than one occasion. But in the end, you know, the deal is made, at least for right now. And uh, we'll have to see how it uh, goes from here. But, um, I mean, as far as for the first show and everything like that, um, I think it was very important that uh, they had him said something big on the first show and, and – him on the first show and going forward I mean, there's just so many questions on the thing but um they're gonna i mean they're going on saturday night against real tough competition every week and many weeks they're going to be going against wwe once a month practically and um so they're gonna you know they can't roll out just a normal show um and uh you know get the kind of an audience um I mean, they, they'll get an audience just by being on the station, but get a good audience week in and week out, um, you know, a competitive audience, you know, a, a top-tier audience um, on nights with all the big sports events. But, uh, you know, I mean, Punk was their biggest draw, um, and it's the best bet. And as far as how the roster split goes and all those things, we will see. They did, they did um, in the video on the show tonight, they, did, they didn't show Punk, and they showed, you know, the different people who had been – plugged before and they also showed scorpio sky so that's a new name for the collision show and um although they never mentioned his name and um that's i don't know anything else you want to know no i mean just uh when they gonna announce the guy are they gonna wait till the day of are they gonna do what they did the well, first time i don't or? know i don't i don't know how they're gonna i don't know how they're gonna handle they also didn't mention um the second coming which was originally the name of the show and may still be they just mentioned the thing now in the building in the MGM Grand, um, there was a pretty big pop when they announced Chicago because people knew that Chicago meant that Punk was coming back, and you could um, hear CM Punk chants. Well, the, the it was it was described to me as a very John Cena ish thing in the sense that there were chants for CM Punk, and then there were chants we don't want CM Punk, and there were a lot of boos and there were a lot of cheers, but it was loud and both being very loud, but it was described as like, you know, the, the John Cena when he was booed reaction in the building. So, um, you know, that was, uh, you know, um, it's, I think in Chicago, he'll probably do pretty well. And then in other cities, you know, we'll have to wait and see. It depends on momentum. It depends on what he says. He's a good talker. He'll probably do pretty well on his promo. Um, so, uh, on his promos, but, uh, we'll have to, you know, I mean, this is this is a um, you know the you know he'll he'll he will likely be at uh, Wembley, and um, when that's announced, that will be interesting to see if that moves new tickets. And um, Chicago, I mean, Chicago goes on sale uh, Friday, and I think there's a pre-sale tomorrow, which seems 
awfully fast. But, um, you know, we'll have a pretty good gauge. We'll have some gauge tomorrow, and we'll have a pretty good gauge on Friday on as far as what this means. Um, you know, because last, the last time he came back, and, of course, it was a much bigger deal then because he'd been gone for so long. But, but the last time he came back, I mean, they did sell out in the pre-sale immediately. So, um, I mean, I don't think anyone expects that. It would be absolutely fantastic if they, to me, you know, if they got anything over, I mean, they did book the United Center, not Wintrust. You know, I mean, like Wintrust, um, if they don't, you know, Wintrust is like uh, they could get about, I think, seven in there. Um, and um, if they don't do more than seven, then they overshot with the United Center um, and could have booked Wintrust. Um, I mean, with the United Center, you know, or even, um, um, you know, the now arena, um, you know, because uh, United Center is the biggest arena in the in the uh, in the city and the most expensive. Um, you know, I mean, there's a reason that WWE does not run the United Center. They run the Allstate Arena because it's more cost effective. Um, you know, when AEW did run the United Center at the one time, it was very, um, you know, obviously it was a. Uh, you know, it was an immediate sellout, so it was a big, big success. But the key was is it was a sellout, and they did a much bigger gate than they could do at any other arena, and it was cost-effective with a sellout. But if you, if you are doing – even 10000 is much more cost-effective running the Now Arena, and 7000 be more cost-effective running Wintrust. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that all goes. Um, you know, a lot to learn. Um, it's going to be an interesting summer, and uh, – you know, everyone's on the same page. Well, I shouldn't say everyone's on the same page, but Tony Khan and Punk are, in theory, on the same page right now. So everything, you know, every all the fences were mended, or as much as they could be. We will probably not hear anything about the details as far as the negotiations and things like that. Um, I don't know. I mean, Tony's going to be doing a uh, conference tomorrow, and I would be, you know, I would expect that, CM Punk's name will be brought up, and so um, I don't know how he will address that. I mean, either he's either tomorrow is to announce it, or he's going to be in a funny position because he's going to have to do this. I can't confirm or deny it, which everybody will take as a confirmation. So uh, tomorrow will be in, tomorrow morning will be an interesting morning when it comes to that uh, that uh, Tony Khan call, or tomorrow afternoon actually. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh no. Dumb! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. <laughs> When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.